Uh, will I be selling this one? Just too small for highway ride. Even if on this I need a windshield extension. Oh my God, that's a Lightning 535, man. Hello, people. The old one and the new one. Uh, have ridden basically about six, seven hundred kilometers on this. A couple of things that I have found not to my liking. So first of all are these mirrors. Uh, they just need a lot of adjustment. Every now and then they just keep, you know, misaligning, need adjustment from here, need adjustment from here. Second thing, uh, the seat. I have not liked the seat. So that's why I've ordered the new seat. And the third thing is the windscreen. Too small, just too small for highway rides. I've done like two uh, long rides on this this far. Not long, basically 100, 120, 30 kilometers. But this did not do anything. So that's why the new windshield as well. So today's video is just gonna be about uh, adding the windscreen. I'll tell you the cost and all. Oh, okay, okay, one question. Uh, will I be selling this one? <laughs> no way, I don't think so. This is going with me all the way wherever it goes there is nothing wrong with this uh, the things that had some issues as you have would have seen in my uh, videos on my channel i've tried to sort them out so runs beautifully absolutely nothing wrong uh, thus far i have not seen anything that i that needs like working engine wise or anything else i think this is just gonna do it so yeah i think i would have to try and learn to live with them both let's see and uh, this is the tall windscreen so you can see almost like four inches tall yeah th this should do okay so again five mm let's loosen these up uh, i won't lie the first day i took uh, the test ride of this uh, before booking it well actually i booked it before taking the test ride any which ways but yeah the first thing that i felt was now nah, the windshield is not gonna cut it uh, I'm barely like 5, 9, 5, 10 at best, but even then it was just, so for taller riders, 6 and above, I'll be able to give details on that later, but I think for them, I mean, they might need a windshield extension, uh, the one that you get on Amazon and all, but anyways, and that, that's it, this comes off easily. We'll be using the same rubber mounts. Just have to squeeze it from one side and as you can see. Extra rubber mounts have not been provided by and filled with the new bin screen accessory. And on to the new one. Again, mounting the rubber points should not be that of. There you go. No special technique or anything required, just have to squeeze them in. Since they are new, if they were old, yeah, we might have to do some extra bet. These might break. So here we go. So all three mounts. Cross winding them. So star winding basically this, 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 this. A little bit of Loctite would have been nice, but I'm not carrying that with me here. So we'll try and talk them. I'll give the review of this as well. Uh, now if you look at the angle, this might look taller than the old Himalayan, but uh, of course they are not compatible. So it's not like you can add this one to that one. And beyond that, the second thing is the seat height on this one is 20 mm taller than that, the old Himalayan. So you can guess it. I think it will make the same amount of wind buffering. So anyone who was having the problem, I, I think so. I was okay. I had adjusted uh, the windshield on this one. This had the option of making it lower or making it a bit higher. So I have done that. I'll post the video and, and it did help me. So I did not have to add any uh, extensions and all. But yeah, I'll see how it goes on this one. Okay, so windshield has been put in. I hope the mic is capturing my voice. And here's the feedback. Uh, because of the taller windscreen earlier, 
I was getting wind buffeting exactly uh, below where the camera is mounted so midway to my neck and shoulders but I have not ridden at a very high speed thus far but in slow speed what I can feel is the wind is actually uh, hitting me somewhere above the visor on the top of the helmet which is not a bad place to be rest I'll also get some free uh, roads ahead hopefully so I'll check for high speed too the uh, rest we will see okay so finally after eight minutes or nine minutes we have a green light Yeah, so I did pull the engine a bit and there was no wind on uh, to be uh, held on my helmet actually. So high speed, I think, yeah, this is going to work. That is I wanted to check and that is what I thought it might do. But yeah, at the cost of repeating myself, I think there are a couple of things which Enfield should have provided as stock rather than trying to make money by uh, providing them as accessories and tall windscreen does make the list this should have been provided as stock oh my god that's a lightning 535 man damn seeing that bike after a long time used to own one at uh, a point and that is the stock handle as well the wide one stock meter never came with this but that was provided as an accessory even then so he's gone for the disc option yep stock speedo console damn tank has been widened ah see get to see a lot of beautiful bikes on uh, Bangalore roads damn impressive Yeah, it's working. It is working. Yep, good decision. Okay, uh, that was it. I'll update you on the rest of the stuff as and when I, uh, the spare parts, oh sorry, as and when the accessories arrive. I'll keep you updated of what next, what's next and what I believe Enfield should have included as stock. Cheers. Bye. So this is the rider seat. Yeah, feels nice. And 